We are now entering a passage nicknamed the Hyphen. The hallway was carved out of Gracie Mansion's kitchen in 1982 when Mayor Ed Koch created the Conservancy and opened up the formerly private residence to the visiting public. The Hyphen will house various artworks at different times, but throughout the 18-month exhibit, the room will have work from four New York women, Alexandra Bell, Tanya Bruguera, Tatiana Fazalizade, and Shannon Finnegan. They are shown along with four historic photographs depicting the landmarks preservation movement in New York City. First is Bell's large 2017 triptych called Counter Narratives, a teenager with promise annotated. In it, Bell edits, redacts, and reformats a New York Times feature story about Michael Brown Jr., who was killed by a police officer in Ferguson, Missouri, six years ago. Her intervention highlights both subtle and explicit assumptions about race that can still be found in contemporary media. When Bell's piece moves to the next museum destination, the historic photographs and the works by Bruguera and Fazalizade will take their place. Next, Stop Telling Women to Smile by Tatiana Fazalizade. Fazalizade worked with the City's Commission on Human Rights to call attention to the negative impact of racial and gender-based street harassment. Cycle News records the collaborative work of Cuban-born conceptual artist Tanya Bruguera alongside her colleagues in the Mujeres en Movimiento. Cycle News acts as a team of women traveling around Queens on bikes to distribute information about the many resources available for new immigrants. Finally, across the hyphen's inner wall are the four archival images that evoke community-driven pioneers of the Landmarks Preservation Movement. First is the 1962 protest in front of Penn Station, photographed by artist David Hirsch. It's followed by a 1988 protest by the Municipal Art Society, challenging the city's attempt to weaken the Landmarks Law on its 25th anniversary. It was photographed by Stephen Tucker. The final two photos taken by unknown artists show two heroic champions of African-American preservation. Hattie Carton and Joan Maynard. Carton saved Bedford Stuyvesant's beloved magnolia tree. And Maynard is seen in front of the Hunterfly houses in Brownsville, which she saved. These houses are the backbone of the historic Weeksville, a 19th century community of free African-American men and women founded as a safe haven in the wake of New York State's 1827 abolition of slavery. Surrounding this work and the rest of the hyphen are three drawings by Shannon Finnegan that deploy humor in the written word to shed light on disability culture. Each one reflects her thoughts about her own disability to form an engaging and encouraging narrative self-portrait. And that will conclude our tour of the hyphen. In the next video, we will explore the foyer, which contains seven pieces of art from Catalyst.